So you don't like it? No. Is this the worst art supply you've ever used? About two months ago, I went to this really cool art store called the Art Warehouse. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is me being an art supply addict. So yeah, I went there with Sarah from So Craftastic and Chloe Rose and Hannah Snow, and we just spent way too long in there. And I found these really interesting watercolors. It's called Aqua Fan Watercolors. It's supposedly portable, so I don't know. Let's take it out of the plastic because it's eh, really reflective. I think I paid like $25 for this. I don't remember. It was one of the more expensive art supplies I bought. And I'm already ticked off. Let me tell you why. This brush thing here, it like isn't very sturdy. It just like slides out. Yo, if I paid this much for this, you better stay in. Oh, now you're staying in. Okay, we're good. Well, uh, this is like a, an aqua fan, it says. I'm really curious about that, so let's find out. Let's find out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. What? Guys, okay, this actually just turned really cool. You know those watercolors, those like Viviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviviv
the water comes out, which is good, but it needs more of a point on the end. I can't do details with this. Let's test this skin tone right up at the top. All right, let's test a darker skin tone because if I want to do other ethnicities, I need to test these. Hmm, this is nice. We won't make this a whole video of swatching because that can be boring. How do I understand the order of this? Hold up. I think I go straight across and then down. Like, this is that one, that is this one, that is this one, that is this one. Wow, it's hard to get this guy way up here. This poor neglected guy. We gotta test you. You might not ever be seen again. Ooh, you're actually really pigmented. Alright, this is the weirdest watercolor I've ever tested before. Hands down the weirdest watercolor. Did not expect this. Okay, wait, there's one that I really wanted to test. I think it's this one. I think this is my favorite color, so we have to test it. Yes! Oh, look at this beautiful teal! Get out, my friends! Get out! Who makes this? Craftwave? Is that the company? Oh, wait, just closing? Wet paint smeared everywhere? I didn't think about that. I'm gonna dock points if that's it, because this is supposed to be portable. We made a mess. Okay, now I'm now I'm docking points. This one is getting everywhere. Everywhere. It's all over me now. Honey, what is going on? You are on the bottom of this. So basically, you really do have to keep it like a fan. How am I supposed to do that? How am I going to do that? It's hard to get them all not to touch. Ugh, this is going to be such a mess. Alright, the most awkward paint palette I've ever tried. The paints are fantastic, but like, girl, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm figuring my life out right now. You see this? This is a, a work of art on its own. Can I just like spread this out and the, this be my art project? Hmm, that'd be a great video. The end. Well, it's inevitable. We're just gonna make a mess because, um, yeah. You can only spread it so far over here because there's this like lip thing. So uh, we're gonna just get it all over us. Oh dear, let's see, what do we wanna even make? Could do like one of those little island sketches or watercolor pieces just to see how things go. I might have to bust some gouache out, however, but that's okay. Deciding. Ooh, you know what? This could be like an ice cream cone island. Girl, it's a giant scoop. And then there's gonna be a door. Oh, if there is an island of ice cream, it had better be cake batter flavor. Ooh, I could put a cherry on top. Wow, what kind of weirdness is coming out of this video? Don't know. But I'm enjoying it. Floofs, little floof, floofs, okay and a little door and somehow you are floating out in the ocean don't question it everybody knows there's a hidden ice cream cone island out in the ocean am i right i think i'll make like a baby scoop but he hasn't quite like gotten a cone yet maybe nah we'll give him a little cone there hmm i think his mouth should be a little more animated don't you Bloop, bloop, there we go. Exaggerate your emotions, fish. People need to know you look sad. I want to do the sky first. This color is interesting because when I dilute it, it has a very warm hue. It's like a very warm blue, I like it. Okay, the ocean water. I really like this shade. Should I do, what's this one right here? It looks like it's a friend of mine. Let's try this. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Let's use it. Oh, there's even like a mixing tray up top in case I wanna mix. That's pretty nice. Well, we have the base colors down. This is dry and ultra blotchy. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel yet. It's making me a little nervous. I even used a big brush on this and like all of it is wet. So uh, we'll see. Ooh, 
Ooh, this is a really nice blue. Let's use it. Look how rich this blue is. That's what I'm looking for. We're just gonna go over everything with this blue. It's beautiful. Ooh, this is ocean shade right here. I like it. I want to paint this ice cream scoop. What flavored ice cream should it be? You know, while I contemplate that, we have a cherry to paint, so. Ooh. <laughs> I was afraid it was gonna touch my painting. I was like, no. This is legit. Ooh, look at my little mixing tray. This is some very pigmented red. Oh, wow. I don't want this to be chocolate ice cream because I feel like that's such a cliche, right? Oh, but I do kind of want it to be chocolate ice cream. Oh, guys, but it has to be, right? Yes. While we're on the topic of ice cream, I want you guys to tell me what your favorite flavor is. That is the question of the day. Um, that is not the shade of brown I was hoping for. Yeah, we want like chocolate brown. There we go, delicious. My absolute, absolute favorite flavor of ice cream is cake batter. Well, okay, chocolate cake batter and just regular cake batter. And it can only be from one place in the entire world and that is Handles. I don't know if you guys have Handles where you're from, but we have it here in Ohio, and uh, let me tell you what, their cake batter is to die for. Okay, another thing I'm not like super thrilled about with this palette is the selection of brown. Like, whatever. Seriously, there's one, two, three browns to choose from, and they're not like that great. I'm kind of ticked. I would just rather see a better representation of brown in here, especially if I want to paint people. Like, hello, let me represent. I want to represent a bunch of ethnicities. It's going to be hard to do that with this palette. I wish that they had a whole family, big family of browns. I feel like this is an afterthought and that, that irritates me. They give this, like, Caucasian skin tone right here at the beginning and then these three like those are your options like I know I could mix colors for that but I've I've seen watercolor palettes with a lot of colors that have a lot more options for skin tones I mean this palette has 42 colors so we could have easily done away with some of the reds and pinks here or some of the blues and greens there's an abundance and then do a bunch of brown, please. I do appreciate uh, this little mixing area. It's small, but hey, they said it was portable, so. Although, if we're being honest, I would like a little bit more mixing room. <laughs> Telling you what, this is like SpongeBob's cool ant up in the sky up here. I don't know what lives in it. Maybe another sponge, because if it was SpongeBob's cool ant, that would just make sense, but. You know what I'm saying. I feel like this would have to be SpongeBob's relative, right? Because I mean, SpongeBob lives in a pineapple. His super cool aunt lives up here with an ice cream cone house. He could be, <gasps> ooh, we should make him like a really dark fish, like a blackish, bluish color. Okay, the black is definitely different than all the other paints. It just isn't uh, activating the same. See, this is why it's the most awkward palette though. I guess if you're really desperate and you're traveling and you still want to feel awkward while doing art, this is the palette for you. Personally, I think I would just fill my own palette and create a travel palette because this is just, I don't know. The paints are good quality, but the whole idea of this is just, it irritates me, kind of. I hope none of you like really are passionate about this thing and like I'll probably get a rage comment. <laughs> I just want to be honest with you guys what I think about this in case you go to buy it because this is what you can expect. I mean, avoiding this because it's going to get all over each other tray and uh, that's irritating. Also, 
my other complaint. Wow, this is taking a negative dramatic turn. <laughs> I usually don't have a lot of negative things to say about art supplies, but I'm being really picky here because I'm just really irritated that they don't have a lot of browns. <laughs> but the black is definitely a different consistency and it is not nearly as pigmented as any of the other colors. I have to keep adding black. This is wild. Yo. So if you go to get this palette and you paint with dark colors a lot, just keep that in mind. Here's one ice cream scoop jellyfish. Okay, we're going to have some strawberry ice cream floating on the water. That's what we're doing here. Ooh, that is bright. Let's everybody calm down. Oh no, it's bleeding with the waffle cone. I thought you were dry. What are you doing coming back here like this? Okay, there are gonna be little chocolate chips in here just for funsies. Do this little baby cone out here. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll do the little waffle stripes, too. Waffle cone. Do you think you could live on one of these ice cream islands? Or, okay, hypothetically, if it wouldn't melt, could you live on it? Or would you eat your home away? Let's try to outline these ice cream scoop. Jellyfish. <laughs> we might have to go over this one with gouache because he's looking a little, uh, He's suffering a bit, okay? I'm just gonna let water soak on this black one. Because <laughs> I need to use some black and I'm tired of this black just not being that great. I'll do a little bit of like dark coral down here. Okay, we are switching up the tone. I'm gonna mix some of these with this white gouache. Hopefully it helps. I'm honestly just not impressed with this watercolor at all. It's, it might be one of the worst watercolors I've ever used. Seriously, dude. I don't... <sighs> it's just irritating. Like, all these dark colors, dry, not very pigmented and nice. It seemed pigmented at first, like when I was using lighter colors, but hello. Kinda wish that was consistent throughout the palette. I'm just not impressed. So let's see, I'm gonna take some white and we'll use this for the jellyfish. Jellyfish, jellyfish, jellyfish. I've done a lot of watercolor in the past, but this just behaves differently, I don't know. Sorry to be so whiny guys, but I'm just being honest with you. I would not recommend buying this. I'm glad I did something more illustrative than like realistic because I would be, <laughs> whew, I don't know. Ooh, I should do little faces on these. How cute. <laughs> oh man. Just pulls at my heart. Let me just be real with you. I'm not super happy with this piece because I'm not very happy with how these watercolors performed. They looked really cool in theory. I was impressed with them when I swatched everything, but then it just it went downhill. So this is the piece. Why didn't you like them? Well, they looked really cool, and then when I got water like on them and shut it, it like went everywhere and got on my hands. And if it's gonna be portable, I think it shouldn't be that messy. Like I would almost rather just get a palette that like clips closed, like what I usually use. And this brush slips out of here very easily. So, meh, bummer. Here's an art supply I don't like on my channel. I'm usually a very positive person, but 
But it, it does look like you're going to Sharon Williams and you're going to paint your house, doesn't it? <laughs> it does kind of, yeah. <laughs> what color would you want to paint our room, babe? Um, let's see. Uh, C8. Yeah, right. That's red. <laughs> you wouldn't want to do Wait, that. You wouldn't want to do that? Why no. Not? That is so bright. You gotta be bold. It would make you angry being around that color all the time. You gotta be like calm and bold. You invigorated and full of life. I'll just do white walls. <laughs> I'm boring. Wow. Yeah, that's very adventurous of you. All our apartments have had like tan walls. Well, this place is gray, but. So you don't like it? No. Is this the worst art supply you've ever used? Maybe close. Wow. It, it's not that great, honestly. Is it just the like the practical the practicality of it or the actual performance of the paint as well? Well, I was impressed with the paint like when I swatched everything. And then once I started doing dark colors. It just, it doesn't flow very well, like, compared to my other watercolors. I mean, I did test a palette that was, like, 97 cents once. This is better than that one, so. <laughs> All right, well, hey, yeah, small victories. Yeah. But it has 42 colors, and that's cool. And I can, like, have powers and be like... The old watercolor attack. What's It's very fearsome. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Yeah. Um, it looks if you cool. had a lot of water on them and they would just like fling watercolor. Fling rainbow them. water right yeah. at you. Yeah. That's how we could paint our walls. Yeah, let's do just like. Just put water in there. And just, yeah. <laughs> I like Have it. some arcs, some color dribbles. Color dribbles. Oh, yeah. That's my review. If you guys want to binge more art experiments or test supplies, you can click this playlist right here. Or if there's something you want me to test, let me know. Have a good day, guys. Bye!